How far? How far, oh foul foul, would you go to set your honourable king upon a dark path of execution? Uh, well, I haven't done anything, but I have heard of a possible minstrel that might have. Or you're actually just the self-hosting leech. Even unto death I speak to you. You have gone so far to taint my name and blacken it with terrifying rumor. I will now hear your number, or I will think the evil. All right, I'm a chef with a one. Oh, yeah, that actually makes sense. <gasps> it's Dr. Zertner. There he is. Dr. Ronald. Um, yeah, it is too bad there's no poisoner, because obviously that is literally just Navian. Correct. Yeah. Um, for those of you not familiar, pretty much any game that Navian has played um that where they are the poisoner uh they do pretty good also, and they have a lot of fun plus one to the count why the fuck are people shooting off fireworks get the fuck out uh yeah so i think you know i sarah navian is the worst to play against we'll, we'll come back to that in a second but i want to take a moment i'm going to take a moment navian i think i'm going to come up with a little bit of a bold one here okay uh, to all of our non-Americans in the chat, uh, you're probably not going to really come to appreciate this. But to our Americans in the chat, um, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have this is this is this is hot take. This is take play. You know, I'm having a little bit of a you know a little bit of a spicy one here. But uh, bear with me. I think because I was talking to a friend of mine about this. I think it's time that we start talking about having a a, a national conversation about fireworks being a public health issue. I think that we there is such a thing as silent fireworks, or at least quiet fireworks. They do exist. Um, they are a thing that can be done, and you can see, obviously, that a lot of other places also do. Um, they have the ability to do, uh, you know, uh, synchronized drones, to be able to do kind of, you know, light, light shows in the sky, that kind of thing. But quite frankly, uh, fireworks at this point are barbarous. You know, they are a relic of an older time. I mean, they go back, Jesus, they go back all the way to the Ming Dynasty, if I remember correctly. So they, they have a military, they had a military purpose. And... Quite simply, at this point, they are a relic of the past, and I think that, quite frankly, the the cons have started to outweigh the pros. And at this point, you know, people are getting hurt by fireworks. People are getting um, they're getting uh, injuries to children who, who don't know about how to properly operate fireworks. Uh, you then have uh, issues with people who obviously, uh, you know, you have people with PTSD and people who can be triggered easily by loud noises. You have animals who will run and hide and escape from their homes because they're terrified of the sound of the fireworks. Uh, quite simply, it's, it's too much. And I think that I'm at the point personally where we are, uh, I think it's time for us to have a public conversation about the fact that maybe, you know, the, 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 the good doesn't outweigh the bad here. And I think it's time that maybe, you know, we as a society start kind of take the L and say, hey, we can't have fun with fireworks anymore, but that's okay because we need to do this to move on as a society. I think that that's just kind of where we're at personally, but that's just me getting on my soapbox about it. I would like to second everything that Demeta has just said. Hey, this is why we're friends. Um, I think they're ready for us to go. Okay, let's hop off then. All right. Were you waiting for us? I mean... Jesus, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Somebody uh, the toy. Kale has ascended and become the toy. <laughs> I turned off the gave toy me suppression a... and just squeezed it. G gave me a fucking heart attack. What the fuck? I couldn't handle that. Sorry, we were just having a conversation. <laughs> we were just we were just having a conversation about fireworks. <laughs> so when you when I come in and I hear a squeaky toy that maxes out by by gain here, I'm like, Jesus, what the fuck is this? So thank you, Kale. Appreciate the uh, you know, I'm I'm ready to go now. Yeah, I don't even need the monster at this point. Sorry. 
<laughs> get the adrenaline kicked in. It's already going. We're good to go. So anyway, to our STs, the bot has already been ran. You guys are good to go whenever. Okay. Um, I'll just offer a couple things. First of all, thank you for letting me use the script, uh, Malishan and Rez. Um, Madness, if in the game, uh, I would like for you to play Madness as a combination of playing what you would do as the actual role, but also claiming it when appropriate. You need to claim the Madness role to somebody in a day, but you don't need to go around telling everybody. We're making a public announcement in town. But I do expect you to play the role like you probably would play a real role, which is to tell a certain individual and then lie to everyone else. Um, so as long as we see that going on, uh, I will count that as fine. Uh, we will try, Bruce, if you will help me, we will try to monitor crosstalk and I will try yep. to provide enough time during the day. I will say that I wrote this out. If any of you are sensitive or squeamish, I'm sorry. And I hope you have a good time. Thanks for coming to the party. Do you hear that chat? It's about to get gross up in here. I mean, it's just a birthday party. I can't imagine anything would go wrong. I would also. A birthday I, fished. I will also tell all of you that night one may be a little bit longer than an average night one because I have a little bit. I'll be stopping by to see everybody because I have a little bit of a story for you. Good night. Good night. I'm now scared. I love a good a good spot of war. Indeed. Um speaking of war. First of all, I want to see what it is that you're going to pull. That's more exciting than anything else. Of course. Um but speaking of a spot of war, um it's only tangentially related. So sorry this is kind of like a thing, guys. Uh, we got Paramount Plus recently, so my wife and I have basically been binging all the Trek content uh, on Paramount Plus. So we have seen the entirety of Lower Decks. Fantastic. Highly recommend it to any Trekkie. Uh, and we're about halfway through Discovery at this point. So, um, is it... Oh, Navian. Hey, it's a minion that hey. I said. If we were a minion, I would like to be. It is exactly what you said. Um, which channel, Tan? Uh, I don't know. Stream chat works, if you want to put it in spoiler tags. Um, I mean, this is perfect. I mean, this is exactly what you would have wanted, right? Yes. I mean, I think I, I haven't, uh, ever pulled Fangu. I've been jumped to, but I haven't been a starting Fangu yet. So, uh, I'm a little disappointed I don't get to be a Fangu still. Still waiting on it. But, you know, Theranovus is a ton of fun. Yeah, Willow, we just finished season two of Discovery, so we're about to move on to season three. Hello, hello. 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 We're going to do some mechanical stuff, and then I'll be back a little later for your stories and your picks. Your fellow minion is Pasta. Okay. Nice. Your demon is Kale. All right, thank you. Yep. Poggers. See you in a bit. For Pog. Immense Poggers. Um, what are the chances that you're right? I mean, you have a one in four chance on calling the demon. Uh, yeah, I just picked a demon one at random so that I know the difference between Pasta being the fellow minion and Kale being the demon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, as far as Trek content is concerned, like, listen, hey guys, you know, I'm I'm an 80s, I'm an 80s kid, right? I grew up in the 90s, so obviously I, uh, you know, my, my, my Trek, my Trek is TNG, Deep Space Nine, etc., um, Deep Space Nine is still the best Trek series. Don't, don't at me. It's just factually accurate. But, uh, I think, I think Discovery's fine for what it is. Um, I think that a, a lot of people are, like, kind of butthurt about the fact that it feels too dark to be Trek. Listen, man, you know. Well, they can shut the fuck up. Yeah, seriously, like, these are the same people who were poo-pooing on DS9 because it was like, oh, everybody's not a fucking Boy Scout. Like, dude, it's war. <laughs> like, you know, like, people are going to make some bad mistakes. People are human, you know? I'm sorry that it doesn't meet the quote-unquote, the, the Roddenberry, uh, you know, uh, idealistic utopia, but I'm sorry, but that's the natural evolution of the story. 
Yeah, um, so what happened was Gene Roddenberry died um, sort of towards right. the end-ish of uh, the TNG era. Yep. And so when DS9 started up, they were basically able to do with it things that they maybe wouldn't have been able to do had Gene Roddenberry still been alive to oversee things, which is how you got DS9 being a little bit darker than some of the other previous treks. It was, that's part of the reason why it's my favorite, because it was... I think that, you know, without spoiling too much, Discovery does kind of feel like it's a little... It plays the hand a little heavy when it comes to the whole kind of dark and shady cabalishness. Um, I think that that was a little... Uh, it was a little... They maybe play the hand a little heavy, so it feels like maybe it's tilting a little bit too far away. But I feel like DS9 kind of was like, you know what, we're going to take TNG, but we're just going to make it realistic. That's all. We're just going to make it human, you know? And I think that that was really kind of what... It was a nice balance. And I think that that's why I find TNG... Or, T, or I find DS9 to just be the best uh, series. Uh, well, well, Jeff, if you want to talk about overdoing Section 31... Um, no spoilers, but there are some series in the future, in the in the 2000s era. And maybe, maybe overplay that hand too, a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I think the idea of, you know, the fact that even Section 31 exists was kind of like, kind of, a lot of people were like, oh, that doesn't, that doesn't even jive with what Roddenberry wanted. And it's like, you, dude, you don't know what Roddenberry wanted. Shut the fuck up. You know, you entitled ass Trekkies. You have no idea. Just let the story progress. Let, let it evolve the way it's supposed to. <sighs> Sorry, a little bit of a, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling sassy today. <laughs> That's allowed. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I I believe we've talked about this before. I think you were partial also to DS9 as well. Uh, my favorite is TNG, but you know, DS9 is is uh, below that. Yeah, right below that. Yeah. Not not like way below it. Yeah. Like like animated series way way below it. <laughs> right. And listen, I'm I'm also gonna you know I, I'm uh, speaking of take play, um, I also don't uh, I didn't hate Enterprise. I know a lot of people hated Enterprise. No! I like Enterprise. Uh... I'm sorry. I know you hate it. I know. Yes. Uh, it could have been a standalone with no relation to the Trek universe. It would have been just as good. Uh, it's definitely top three as far as Trek is uh, in the Trek universe within the confines of original idea. Listen, if it's within the confines of the original idea of Trek of Roddenberry in the 60s and 70s, dude, none of the sh none of the shows add up. Not even TNG adds up. I mean, that that would like even TNG was like a stretch for the the Roddenberry vision. Bambi, I'm really sorry. I'm very sorry. What what was it? What's your what's your let's let's give you a little soapbox opportunity. What did you hate so much about Enterprise? Uh well, first of all, the the song the song that they had in the opening that was oh it was so bad oh i loved it no no bad <laughs> um also i don't like the captain and you don't like scott bacula he was in quantum leap though i didn't say i didn't like scott bacula he's he's whatever i don't like the captain oh okay and if you are watching a Star Trek series and, like, you have to be into the captain, if you're not, it's not going to hit with you. Sure. Um, I never watched Star Trek. If I were to start, do I have to start with the Shatner series or could I skip it? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually, re I actually recommend skipping it first. Yeah. I actually yeah. recommend not watching it first. Um, if you are, I recommend starting, again, TNG DS9. Um, if you find yourself enchanted with the story... They're each all of the series are given a lot of context if you go back and watch the original series. But let's be honest, the show's over fifty years old at this point, and there are um, some of it doesn't age well. We'll put it that way. Yeah, some of it doesn't. Some of it does though. Yeah, but some of it doesn't. Yeah. I will uh, say, so there's this popular kind of myth about like. Oh, it's the first on-screen interracial kiss on television. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, when people say that, they really lack a lot of context for it, which is that the um, 
the episode that that takes part in is actually not that great. And in fact, it is not a good kind of kiss. Anyway, hello, storytellers. No. Hello again. Howdy. Uh, we're going to do some story, and then I will get your pick. Your demon, the Nothing King, needs you tonight. They need your ability to peer into brains and confuse and change minds. The king has waited so long for this night, for the night the people would finally recognize the truth. You are here to help them see what they should have known all along. There is only one worthy king. Who would you like to pick and what character? Um, okay. Let's do... Let's make Emily mad as the... What are we thinking, chat? Do we have any thoughts about what to make Emily mad as? Hang on. We'll need a little pause here while, while it actually gets yeah. caught up. What's on the script? Okay, so there's no cannibal, there's no undertaker, which means there's really not a point in making somebody mad as a top role, like a noble or a chef, because uh, they're not necessarily going to try to get themselves executed. A fool might. Um, a sailor might. I'm going to make Emily mad as, let's go with the magician. You got it. Thank you. Do something a little, a little different. Yeah. Good luck. I like it. It's also a free bluff. Um, it is. Also chat is asking if there's a way to turn my volume up because apparently I'm a little quiet. I have you marked up to 175%, just so you know. It's all good in the hood. Um, I'm not going to get... I am not I am not going to go into it because you guys do not want me to go into that episode of Enterprise. Yes, that episode. We are not going to talk about that episode. Just like we're not going to talk about that episode of Voyager, because there was a that episode of Voyager, too. We don't need to go into that. I haven't but, seen Voyager in quite a while, but I'm sure that there was. I'm not, I'm not surprised. It has to do with lizards. If you know, it, it, for those of you who remember, you re, you'll you'll remember. But again, it's okay. We don't need to talk about it. Um, but as far as that episode with Phlox basically espousing genocide, or at least being an accessory to genocide... Yeah, kind of a fucking bummer. That's a that's a pretty bad look. Yep. Um, hu huge bad look for that yep, series. It was, and and they were doing so well, and you know he had the species that was polyamorous, and it was like, whoa, some polyamorous representation. That's not actually awful. And then he turned out to be a genocide apologist, and I was like, oh, why did they have to do that? Yeah, that was a bad one. But I will say. The series explores the founding of the Federation, and I think that that was a story that needed to be told. What could it have been done better? Yes, by a lot. But I think it was fine as it is. I think it was fine. I'm not saying it was good. Everybody can chill. I'm just saying it was fine. I said lizards. Street luck. I did indeed say lizards. Um, and yes, Will, I'm referring to Threshold. That was, ugh, God, what an episode. Um, but anyway, um, haven't watched Picard yet, but I am interested. I also haven't I watched it's... Picard yet. Um, I'm doing rewatches and, uh, still on Deep Space Nine because I took a break from that to start doing Star Wars rewatches uh, oh. slash new watches because there's some uh, like the uh, I hadn't watched Clone Wars before the, the show um, yeah. I'm now up to Rebels which I haven't watched before so 
working my way. There is nothing. Star Wars there, media. <laughs> there's nothing that unites Trekkies more than our hatred of Star Trek. You are <laughs> a thousand percent right on that. I mean, I feel um, like that's just every fandom ever, right? I, it kind of is, but hey, like, not any guy gets it. I actually, um, I went to um, a friend of mine. Uh, who is a big Potterhead, big Star Wars fan, etc. Very much into those fandoms. And we were talking about something. Um, oh, I'm gonna. It, it was a Potter. It was a Pottermore thing, which I will save for another conversation because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some talk in the chat when I mention it. We'll save that for another night. But I mentioned it, and then I was like, man, it's a really good thing you don't know anything about Star Trek. And she was like, what do you mean? And I was like. If you knew about Star Trek and you knew about how much potential there is for this lambasting, this this love fueled hatred of your fandom, um, you would if you ever got into the fandom, you would understand. You know, um, if you don't hate the things you are a fan of, shaking my head, you don't want to be happy or something. It's true. Um, me personally, like with Trek, I mean, like, see, the thing is with Trek, like, that whole argument of like, oh, it's not Trek. I mean, fuck it, dude. It is. Like, I mean, we hate it. We might not like it, but it is. Right. And we have to deal I with it. I hate Enterprise, but I can't deny the fact that it is a Star Trek. It is part of the canon. I don't have to personally enjoy it or, uh, you know, ever think about it unless it's forced upon me. But like, like now, I will not be a revisionist. Which is admirable. All right, we are starting a prediction of who's going to win. I'll give you five. I'll give you guys five minutes to figure this out. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I like your chances with this particular evil team. Um, I haven't really played with Pasta all that much. Pasta's um, very chaotic. Nice. All right. Uh, um, obviously, we have run a lot of games for Kale, and I have played a number with Kale as well. So, uh, what? W what are my thoughts on the? What do we hope Kale is? I'm hoping for either a leech or a Fangu. I don't know. I feel like maybe we could we could use an imp too. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, I kind of wish they would redo some of the ship battle scenes in DS9. I can understand that. As far as the movies, do you mean the Star Trek movies or the Star Wars movies? Because there's differing opinions on both of those. Um, I'll be very simple as far as the Star Wars movies are concerned. Uh, I haven't seen the new ones. I know nothing about them. I mean, I know somehow Palpatine survived. That's, that's all I know. Uh, Trek movies, J.J. Abrams could ruin that too. Um, I enjoyed them for what they were worth, but man, you don't get a lot of Trek vibes off of the J.J. Abrams movies. Set dressing, you know? Um, as far as the Trek films before that, the TNG era films were fine for what they were. Yeah. Nemesis was fine. Tom Hardy when he was like 12 or whatever the fuck he was. <laughs> yeah. Um young Picard and then uh the t the the original series ones they were fine I mean the what was it the uh, whatever the name of the fucking satellite was uh, you think I remember V'ger V'ger because it wasn't Voyager it was V'ger that's right uh -huh. um first contact was the best hands down um yeah I could I could dig that I think first contact was an excellent film uh, I just need to do something else in the Star Wars universe that isn't directly existing characters, explore the universe, and stop going to Tatooine. I saw something recently that said something like, um... There's so, apparently in the... And you would know better than me, because I'm not super big into Star Wars. But apparently there is a planet that is populated by, like... What is essentially the the stereotypical trope of like the big titty goth girlfriend, and they're like, "Why are we not going to this planet rather than going to Tatooine for the seven hundredth time?" I mean, are they talking about the Night Sisters? 
No. Okay. This is apparently somewhere deep in the lore. I mean... I know who you're talking about. I know who the Night Sisters are because people keep fucking showing me shit from Star Wars that I <laughs> don't care about, but I know what it is. Yeah, if it's, like, super deep in the lore, like, we're talking, like, comic books or video games, I, I don't know it. I only know the stuff from the movies. And... <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Everyone who is anyone is here tonight for the party. The place is packed with the highest of society and those that serve them. The banquet room that rests in the shadow of the clock tower's interior is decorated like never before. As the giant hands on the clock move around silently above you, you wonder when the mysterious guest of honor will arrive. Suddenly, a swift wind blows through and all the candles are blown out. However, an eerie blue light emanates from somewhere high in the room. It settles upon the bodies of the town's storytellers, pinned to the interior trunk of the clock tower. A disembodied voice speaks, echoing throughout the room. You. What do you own the world? How do you own disorder? Now somewhere between the sacred silence and sleep. Disorder. 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 Good luck finding the killer. Can't believe you didn't sing that art. Thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll give you guys like a good, good ten minutes. Dallas on. It is indeed oh, disorder. But with Foster solemn reverence, we must throw away respect. Tradition, form, and ceremony is duty. Oh, we must king. taste grief. Subjected thus, how can you say to me I am a king? All right, Mullabach, you want to chat? Sure. I'm the king gambling. Pasta, you want uh, to talk? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh dear, an you imposter. A Karen. tyrannous ah. imposter. The Karen claim king. <laughs> how dare you? Apparently, but so kind of is gambling, I'm guessing. Anyway, Kale, would you like to chat? Okay. Uh... Gambling, do you want to talk about for... I was muted, but I said yes. I figured, yeah. Um, what are you? Leech. Nice. Uh, who is the host? Malachon. Malachon. Nice. Uh, I am the Sarah Novus. Currently, Emily is mad as a magician. Yeah. Uh, what do we got for bluffs? Chef, courtier, noble. Um, which one do you want to take? I'm probably going to take Noble. Cool. Um, I'm happy to take Chef. Okay. I'm going to give out a Chef one. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, cool. Um, I will try to get to Pasta at some point today and see if we can pass on Courtier. Okay. Alright. Thanks, Gil. Thank you. Uh, Malabak or Malachan? Banker Pong? Oh, yeah. uh, you got it. You got Molly. Alright. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Malachan, we need to chat. Sure, let's go. We need we need tomato the tomato and chat with us. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm I'm working on it, okay? I'm working. Okay. Uh, hello, Mullabok, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, what would you like to do this game? Um... Uh... A... I'm willing to tell you whatever would be helpful on day one, but I'm not sure... So I can tell you that I don't yet have a contribution to the town. So I'm not sure how helpful okay. I can be on day one, but... Okay, so... Okay. If there's some way I can well, help you. Are are you a third king claim? No. No. Okay. That would be funny though. Um, alright, so you probably like an each night asterisk or maybe one of the outsiders or something. That's fine. Uh I will say you know what? There's no reason for me to hide this. Uh I'm a chef with a one. Okay. 
Yeah, Very unfortunately, uh, there's no Undertaker or Cannibal that I could, like, feed myself to. I was hoping maybe there would be, uh, especially on a script called Birthday Feast. Well, there's a Minstrel. If there's a Minstrel in play, we could see if you're a minion or not. Uh, we could. I don't know if there's a Minstrel in play, though. There might not be. Yeah. Um, there's no... Okay, there's no Recluse that could misregister to me. Nope. And there's no... Your number is vaguely suggestive of a marionette, but not really, just suggestive. Right, yeah. Oh no, Demeda, I accidentally refreshed my page. You might need a, a, the new code. God damn it. I'm sorry, I was trying to open up the character list, and I had the control button down for my push to talk, and then I hit R at the same time, so it refreshed the page. I am ready for your code. Okay, Z... W H J. Blammo. All right. Anyway, um, thanks, Molbach. Okay, thank you. From the camera, as it were. Oh well. Uh, speak of the devil and the devil. On sulfurous locks. Navy. <laughs> Shall we speak? Yeah, let's go. Hail to thee, ghost maid. <laughs> And how should we talk on this day? Are you a leech, and have you self-hosted like you have promised? Well, it's only fitting that a man of my stature would uphold any promises that are given to worthy causes. However, I will say at this point that I am neither leech nor hosted, as far as I'm aware, and so therefore it is unfortunately impossible for me to keep such promises. I am a man of oaths, sir, a man of stature. And I promise to thee that if thou gives me your claim in this strange party we find ourselves, then I shall be truthful unto thee. Okay. Uh, are you claiming sh uh, king or noble? Oh, I am far above mere nobility. I am granted gift of gods. Royal prerogative. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm a chef. Ah, well, I'm sure you're... Cook us up something glorious, a hopefully feast befitting this royal party. Um, may I ask whether you believe that there is evil about? Perhaps some cluster thereof? I believe indeed that there is a small cluster of evil about town. Good lord. A one, perhaps a two? I shall not clarify at this time. But, uh, As is there, it right. is certainly not a three, because that would be impossible. Indeed, that would be a terrifying thing, and imply perhaps that you are under some kind of evil spell. In the meantime, if you hear any tales of... Hmm... Stinging boys, then as a king, I'm always happy to hear aeons to my glory. Uh, indeed, I will point them your way if I hear of any. I thank you, my loyal subject. And good day to you. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, LARPing. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with this nonsense. It's been a while. Apparently. Bro. Um, good it's though. okay, you can, you're can. you allowed to have fun gambling. That's very kind of you, thank you, Tomato. <laughs> oh, Tomato, thou churl. Malashan, could we speak, please? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Doing all right. What would you like to talk about? Um, how do you feel about twos? Twos works for me. Oh, okay. Uh, I am either the chef or the choir boy. I am either the fool or the oracle. Okay. Um, if you are the fool, how would you feel about potentially being tested? I am not a fan of testing fools because it always just becomes a, oh, you're probably <laughs> just a VA. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fair. Um, but if we have nothing else, sure, but I'm not a fan of it. Yep, no worries. I will not push on it. I will be uh, joke nominating gambling and voting on it uh, just because it's gambling. Okay, but you but don't I... want other votes. 
Uh, I mean, if anybody has reason to not trust Gamble, I'm sure. Okay, I have but no reason I don't reason have any to... particular reason to trust or not trust anybody at the moment. Okay. I've heard of a noble with things, so that's a possible backup. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that would actually be good. Um, um, perhaps helpful with some other information I've heard of. Including somebody who gave me my role an outsider as their two, so that might be a not a terrible nomination. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, Malshan. Cool. Thanks a lot. Want to hear something cool? What? We have 69 viewers in chat. Nice. Excellent! We don't actually, but uh, get there, guys. Come on, tell your friends. Oh. Uh, oh, it's Gimling. Malachan, chat? I need, I need to talk to Gimling. Sure, I'll lead the way, Emily. Uh, Dak. Yeah, let's go, Jason. Wait a minute. Is Tomato. Uh, I ain't in no game. Following me around, oh, he's not okay. actually playing. Um, it's just so that the stream has my perspective. Got it. If I do this though, the bot doesn't move me, does it? I think it might not. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Borrow the. You could you could change your name to Chat Meta. Malabak. Malabak. Sure, sure, sure. His Don't worry, Tori. I'm saving it for. He point. implied he, in town square he was the king. Is he actually the king? Or did that he is it? what he heavily. Uh, I'm, a, he I'm assuming. Chat, yeah. I'm assuming gambling is the king, because Karen also slightly claimed king, if I'm correct. But then I talked to Karen. Karen claimed three different characters. God sake, sit up on the ground. Welcome back, everybody. Right well, back gifted sub. Thank I you think we've had Jackie. enough time today to figure out who killed poor Bruce and me. Um, so we're going to need you to uh, bring forth some candidates here. And let's uh, let's start murking some people. Uh, I would like to juggle. Go ahead. That's okay. Uh, Absolutely. I'd like, to, I'd like to juggle gambling as the king. Uh, Jason is the sailor. Mullabok is the fool. Dak as the Saranovis and myself as the juggler. Heard. All right, I'd like to juggle uh, gambling as the king, Malishan as the fool, Mullabok as the oracle, Resnora as the gambler, and FM Jason as the sailor. Heard. I would like to juggle Malishan as the leech, Mullabok as the leech, gambling as the leech. Heard. Malashan will juggle. Malashan is the juggler. And Navian, Vesnova, Gambling, and Dak as the leech. Heard. Uh, gamblingly would like to juggle the responsibilities and affairs of state, for it is clear this kingdom is out of control. Whose Heard. fault is that, Gambling? I think it's yours. Well, there's only one solution. Uh, Mullabuck will gamble Karen through Pasta as the marionette. Pasta heard. Aaron would like to ju Go juggle ahead. gambling as the drunk. Heard. Nice. <laughs> you absolute monster. Dak <laughs> would like to juggle Dak as the juggler. Emily as the magician. Pasta as the magician. Resnora as the gambler. And Narnanian as the gambler. Heard. Hale would like to gossip. Karen as the Godfather, Karen as the Saranovis, uh, Jason as the Godfather, Jason as the Saranovis. I'm gonna guess you mean gamble, not gossip? Yes. So I, I, I have heard that. Right back, thank you for the gift of this You mean juggle? You juggle, <laughs> not gamble. <laughs> I mean, I know. Come on, guys. I want to gamble five times tonight. Can can uh, can we start a cult now? No. Uh, yeah, I like to okay. start a cult. <laughs> um, obviously, you guys are not taking Bruce and I's death very seriously. You're just sitting around here juggling all day. Can we get to killing people? Maybe I think there are great secrets that may be. Oh my. Uh, 
I will go ahead and open up nominations for the day. Navian nominates. Ryback, thank you for the gift. Navian so, today nominates day. gambling. Tell us about this, Navian. Listen, gambling promise that if he were ever a leech on a game where I am in it, he is going to self-host as a leech. I think this is the perfect time to try this. See if he kept his word. Gambling, your defense. No matter where, of comfort no man speak. Let's talk of graves, of worms and epitaphs. Make dust our paper and with rainy eyes write sorrow upon the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. And yet not so, for what can we bequeath save our deposed bodies to the ground? Our lands, our lives, our kingdoms are but to give unto this town. Uh, six will be needed? I can't vote on that. Starting now. I did enjoy how the longer gambling spoke, the more hands went up. Yeah, my issue was that I just like kept imagining this happening every day, and I was like, eh, I'll raise my hand. Sounds too much like Boris to me. Five is not enough gambling. You are safe for the day. Resnora nominates Dak. Resnora has nominated Dak. Tell us about this, Resnora. Okay, so Dak is in a hard double claim. That, that's the first thing. Um... The other thing is that um, there's something about Dak's juggle that's like kind of weirding me out, and it and it feels kind of like signaling to the evil team. I don't know. I could be completely misreading that, um, but you know, double claim and shiftiness. Yeah. Okay. Dak, your defense against this? Uh, okay. So I thought it was hilarious that I had two different sets of people claim the exact same role to me. And they were both okay with me juggling them as that, even though I'm not the juggler. So I don't think this is the best kill for the day. Six votes are still needed, starting now. Thanks, Tam. Six votes is enough. Deck is currently scheduled for execution. I'll gambling nominates that. Navian. Gambling nominates Navian. Tell us about the gambling. Thou art a naughty goose. Off with thy head. Navian, your defense. If you cut off one head, two heads grow back. Deck's on the block with six, so seven will be needed to change this to Navian starting now. We didn't kill gambling off of my meme nom. I don't think we should either tie like or kill yeah, I don't think we should, we should yeah. yeah. Five is not enough. Navy and you are safe for the day. Dak still on the block. Second call for nominations. How um, does anybody about... want to counterclaim Dak as the juggler? Anyone at all? Dak's not claiming okay. juggler. So, so nobody so is saying that Jack is not the juggler. I am so not the juggler. Why are we killing I... on? Okay. I... I have heard of a hard claim of juggler elsewhere. I understand why they don't want to come out, considering how many people juggled. Like, they don't want to put a target on their head, and I don't think we should ask them to. Additionally, like, their claim Dak gave in R2 is my role. So, you know. Since awesome. we have an active nomination, I'll go ahead and close the day in 10 <clears throat> if I don't get a further nomination. How are we feeling yeah. about Dak as a kill today? Fine. Dak will nominate Narninian. Stack nominates Narninian. Tell us about the stack. Um, one of my double claims the Rez has just claimed uh, is basically a double claim on her. Um, uh, he's he's had very sticky fingers for red tokens lately, so I'll just say that. Narninian, your defense against this? Uh, I can't argue that I have been evil a lot on streams uh, lately, but that does not mean I'm evil today. I don't think I'm a good day one execution. Um, yeah, that's it. Dak is currently scheduled for execution with six. Six to tie, seven to change that. Starting now. Just to 
uh, for pertinent information, Narnini and I talked today. We are aware we are putting out the same, like, twos, but we are not double claiming each other. I got a hard claim from both of you. Four is not enough. Narnini is safe. Dax still right, in the block. I'll be closing the day in five. Four. I'm not saying Three. you didn't. I'm just saying Narnini and I are, have an understanding. I'm a horrible kill. We're not double claiming each other. Dak, you have been found guilty of these crimes. You are taken up to the birthday dais. The town looks sternly at you. And then they kill you yep. and you die. Yep. Good night, everybody. Well, I mean, they lifted it off of you. Oh, you didn't get to say your uh, special announcement. I didn't. For gamble. It's okay. I'm going to put it in chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think one of Narninian and Rez are uh, the gambler, because that's what it seems like they are both claiming but don't know which one is. Yeah, I'm... Drop the honks? Okay. Um... I... I get a feeling it's probably Narn, but that's just social read. Um, yeah, I agree. But that's not the juggler. Um, he said something else and said he was a horrible kill, which... Said he was a horrible kill. Um, kind of leans towards, like, Oracle, Innkeeper... Can't be quite sweetheart. Sure because that is a... We could be Sweetheart, yeah. Speaking of, let me actually put our, uh, bluff here. So, oop, that's not the right one. No, it is not. Uh, yeah, I, I get yeah. Sweetheart vibes from what they were saying, but, it, I mean, it could very well just be an Oracle. Yeah, absolutely could be. Um, Innkeeper, Oracle. Uh, what else we got? Innkeeper, Oracle, can't be put here. Um, obviously isn't a fool. Uh, said he's not the drug alert, and I believe that. Um, unlikely to be the fire boy, in my opinion. Potentially a minstrel or a sweetheart. That poor tomato would go deaf. It's just a single honk. I mean, this is what happens whenever I talk to Navian. Just, a, just honking in my ear constantly. Honk. <laughs> uh, Lemon Blueberry, is Navian really quiet by comparison? Yes. Uh, we are trying to rectify that. But Discord can only boost the volume so much. I'm going to 200%. Actually, yeah, I think still to the point, I think that one of Narninian and Rosnara is the gambler, and the other is probably the juggler, which is probably why uh, Rez was being a little bit weirded out by Dax Jungle. Also, it sounded like Pasta was doing ma uh, claiming magician. Um, uh, yeah, from, from according to the juggles, it yeah. sure looks like uh, Pasta was m meeting that, yeah. yeah. Hello. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Um, it's that time in the night to reach into someone's brain and mess them up. Yeah. Um, all right. We didn't talk to FM Jason today at all yesterday. So uh, let's make Jason mad as the fool. You got it. Thank you very much. Do you... Hmm. You by what? Do you... I'm thinking Dak may have actually just been the sweetheart. Because we haven't heard any outsider claims. True. Acrobat would have come out, probably. Butler probably would have come out. Um, maybe. I mean, there is a Fangu on his trip, so... Oh, that's a good point. For outsiders to say anything. Uh, Kale didn't say anything about Gambling being the king, uh, which could just be because I forgot to ask, or could be because Gambling is the drunk. Is not the king? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, potentially if everyone is hearing Navy and is quiet, they could uh, up their input volume. Yes, that is. Uh, but, potentially if everyone is hearing but as qua but it. Um, qua but it. I mean, no, I don't. I think Navian's current situation tech wise doesn't allow for that. Well, I mean, I can turn it up on Discord, right? So, yeah. I'm currently at 100. Um, as far as turning down the music. Does that sound any better? Eh, a little bit better. Uh, who did Navian pick mad and what? Picked FM Jason to be mad about being the. Cool. Cool. Um, can I drop the music? No, I cannot, Tori, because the music is already at one. Again, whatever this viewer is or this player is, it is. I can't fuck with the levels for some reason. It locks me out of doing so. Um, I tried playing with it earlier today, but. It's okay. You know why? Because. I don't know. But because Navian's amazing. Um, but a suggestion. Okay, so. Speaking of the thing I was talking about earlier. Okay. Navian, are you a big Potter person? Uh, not really. I've, I've read all okay. of the books and seen a handful of the movies. Okay. Um, the question that sparked this conversation about hating fandoms. Um,. Was I asked said Potterhead um, if Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is considered canon? Uh, I mean, didn't J.K. Rowling write it? Partially. Then I don't see why it's not. Uh, the reason why it isn't, according to people, is because uh, everyone hates it, apparently. That doesn't make it not canon. I know. Uh, people don't want it to be canon, but apparently it yeah, is. Yeah, well, that's a different uh, thing. Yeah. So, um, it's been seen as a cash grab. It's been seen as a very lazy, kind of hand-wavy, just, here, I'm going to throw some breadcrumbs to the peasants so that they can, you know, keep throwing money at me kind of thing. Um... And because of that, that that is the mood that it has. Um, Selling out and canon material are not mutually exclusive. Yes. And yes, Tori is correct. That turf doesn't. That turf doesn't know, know what the hell she's doing. Actually, I the agree. thing is, she does know exactly what she's doing, and that's why turfs are so dangerous. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Potterverse feels like a cash grab. Um. I'd say the the base seven, eh, whatever. Good morning, everyone. Everyone is woken from their sleep as the sound of a dirge emanates from the rafters. The blue light settles on an empty stage. It appears there were no new deaths in the night. A voice croaks in. Dead I am the dog. Hound of hell, you cry. Devil on your back. I can never die. I will give you eight minutes today. Oh no. Naninian, Resnora, and Navian. I'm too old, please. Did nobody die? Nobody died. Um, nobody, nobody died. Nobody died of a night. I can explain. Can you? <laughs> no, Sorry, I can't. Well, gambling? Uh, Did you self leech? <laughs> no, of course not. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kale, do you want to check? Oh, gambler. Uh, give me two seconds. Yeah, sure, we can try. Mo <laughs> Molly Bog, do you want to talk? Gambling, do you want to talk? I'm sorry, I need, to, I need to gather myself a second, because... <laughs> oh god, I'm being set up so hard. <laughs> Beautiful. In existence, I um, find that. nobody died. I have a no. potential fool on my board, but it's not confirmed yet. Uh, like it was in you know a, a two, so Naninian and or Resnora, did you two gamble someone interesting? I'm gonna come clean. I'm not the gambler, I roll swap with the gambler. Oh. 
Yeah, I was assuming that was Dunian. Um, okay, was that I would mistaken that nobody died. That would ex yeah, I that would explain. Yeah, I can confirm that nobody died. Um, some stuff. Okay, yeah. Um, I I believe I have confirmed somebody last night, but if you're saying it's a minstrel day, yeah, that if it matter. were a minstrel, then unfortunately, it's not hard confirmation. It's also entirely possible. I, I will just say I am the fool, so it's entirely possible that I was targeted last night. Okay. Although um, to, okay. Be, to be fair, I do believe that I do believe it's likely that Dak was a minion. I I felt like. I felt like juggling both you and Pasta as the uh, magician felt a bit like projecting, like you know, trying to signal to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Know. That makes sense. Um, Karen said that Pasta's voting was a I little suspicious this. yesterday. I thought FM Jason's voting was as well. Um, I, yep. Just on the Karen and Pasta thing, I'd like to point out that first thing in the game, Karen said, "Hey, Pasta, let's chat." So I don't think we should read too much into any conflict between them. Okay. Um, second thing is that if it was a minstrel day, nobody could have even been told that they were mad by the Serenovus. Just a reminder. Oh, that's true. Um, that's I don't think way. I have uh, anything else I can give you, so uh, I'm probably going to go back to town. Resnor, can we chat alone? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Good luck. I'm following the goose, guys. It's okay. Emily, do you want to talk? Yeah, sure. Dak, would you like to chat again? Sure, let's go. Navian. Yes. Thou naughty goose. We must speak again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how far, how far, oh foul foul, would you go to set your honorable king upon a dark path of execution? Uh, well, I haven't done anything, but I have heard of a possible minstrel that might have. Or you're actually just the self hosting leech. Even unto death I speak to you. You have gone so far to taint my name and blacken it with terrifying rumor. I will now hear your number or I will think the evil. All right, I'm a chef with a one. Oh, yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah, um, so um, if that was a minstrel night, then I think we should be looking... I think Pasta... Uh, yeah. I think Pasta's voting's a little suspicious. I also think FM Jason's voting was a little suspicious. I, I've heard a valid reason to consider Pasta untrustworthy. Okay. So if it was a minstrel night, if we do have a singer of songs perhaps lulling us into a sleep more deep than we could ever imagine, then perhaps Pasta would be next upon the plate. I think that is certainly reasonable. That would make a most but delicious dish indeed. I am not completely taking off you as the self-poisoning leech. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope also, the water that runs off your strategy. back pulls into your eyes. It, That's it a duck. is a terrible strategy, but it is something that you would do. Are you saying that geese are not waterproof? Oh, tomato. Uh, well, first off, I'm saying you haven't abided by chat's wishes, and I, I for did, that... I didn't like chat. I, it's hard. It's, I'm sorry. Okay. And secondly, uh, it's the phrase is water off a duck's back, not water off of a goose's back. That's right. And are you saying that ducks and geese are not butt? Bro, I don't fucking know. I don't know about waterfowl. <laughs> well, then you should learn. You have the opportunity. And in that butt, you'll find much wisdom. Hey, there it is. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I need to go away from here. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm gambling. As your choir boy, I still trust you. No worries. <laughs> you've, you've got me backing you up as not the leech. And I trust thee and thy butt. I just... <laughs> it's hard to live a life of open song, you know? Zach, do you want to go up a chat? Sure, Navian, uh, let's go. Pasta. Hey. Oh. Um, so, very unfortunate that you are dead. Uh, are you willing to give out any claim, or...? Yeah, I'll, I'll claim to everybody. Uh, I was the only protection role in the whole game. Aww. Innkeeper. Oh. 
Well, that does suck. So yes, that, does. No, that definitely couldn't have been from you. Nope. Definitely um, not from the innkeeper. Right. So uh, I have heard of a fool that it could have possibly pinged off of. Um, yep. Um, unfortunately, I've also heard of a minstrel. So worlds where you were potentially evil and a minion are in existence. Yeah. I hadn't gotten to speak to you yet, which is why I didn't vote on you. Um, yeah. So, you know. Yeah. But no, I was the innkeeper. I was bluffing uh, uh, juggler or gambler just mm -hmm. to, you know, just because I didn't want to throw innkeeper out to the evil team day one. Right, of course. Um, but yeah, other than that, and that's why I juggled what I juggled, but those were, <clears throat> those were all claims that all four of those people, other than myself, that uh, they were okay with me juggling them as that role. So. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, I haven't really been all that quiet with it, so I'll just let you know. I'm a chef. I have a one. Okay. Cool. All right, thanks, Dad. That's good to know. Yep, thanks, Navy. Um, Kale, can you catch up? Yep. Okay, uh, okay so I've got Emily as the minstrel, Malachan's probably the oracle, Narninian is the gambler, Resnor a fool. Uh, yep. Is gambling the drunk, or is he actually the king? Gambling's gambling's the king. Okay, gambling is the king. All right. Um. Uh, that yeah. was the innkeeper. Okay, that was a really good kill then. Yeah. Um, I targeted Resnora last night. Yep. So I'm Res gonna is with uh, no ability. Yeah. So Malachan is a gambler who gambled Resnor, I believe. And we're gonna try getting Jason killed today because my okay. pings are Molly, Molly, Jason, Karen, okay. and Malachan had a double claim. Got it. So I'm gonna be nominating Jason, and I'm also trying to lead Malachan away from being a leech host and being the drunk instead. Because have you speaking to Pasta? Not yet. No. Godfather minus one. We have a drunk. Hmm. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. I'll give you a few seconds to talk, and then I'll open up nominations for execution today. I would like to let you all be informed that you will all be sleeping in the dirt from now on because the inn is closed. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I, I've changed my mind. I, I've got, after talking to Dan, I think what we talked about is not the right push today. The, the person I was thinking about pushing about? Uh, the one I suggested, I think. The, the other one you suggested was fine. Um, okay. so, fun, fun thing, um, I suddenly, Malachan, you know, you know my role, because we, you, the, the role that we exchanged first thing, day one, um, I have just come, come across somebody who just double claimed that to my face, so. Yeah, Resnor, don't worry about it, we're gonna take care of it today. Yeah, All I think right, it's fine. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Nominations are now open. I would like to nominate Jason. Kale nominates Jason. Tell us about this, Kale. Uh, I am a noble. I believe I, I've spoken to my other two pings. I've yet to speak to Jason. But as far as I know, Jason is in a double claim. I believe Jason is my evil within my three pings because I believe the other two are good players. And Jason, your defense? Uh, I mean, it's fine to kill me, I guess. I am just a fool, and that's fine. I probably either will not die, or I was the reason there was no death last night instead. Okay, uh, six will be needed to schedule Jason for execution starting now. I I'm already... I will, I will say that Jason, I believe, is gambler confirmed, maybe? I don't think this is a good Jason execution, is then. Not this is, I don't think this is a good There kill, are multiple but... reasons. Hmm. Five is not enough. Jason, you are safe for the day. I was honestly interested in doing a, a, uh, a minstrel check on a full claim today, but that's missed it, I guess. Malachan nominates Kevin. Malachan has nominated Karen. Tell us about this, Malachan. Um, Kevin is also the noble things, if I was told the truth about the noble things, and I believe there's mechanical information confirming the other two noble things. So, unless the nobles are drunk, that makes Kevin evil. Karen, your defense? Um, I, uh, I knew that 
I was in a noble ping, um, and the noble told me that they were going to nominate the other ping. I think that if I were evil, I would have voted on that and not defended Jason in chat. I am not evil. Okay. Six votes will be needed to schedule for Karen for execution starting now. I just want to say that if yesterday was a minstrel night, then nobody's games are confirmed. Yesterday wasn't there. a menstrual night. Okay, if you say so. Okay. If, if, Nerdy, if you re recall the the piece of information Emily told us first, based on what's happening, uh, it can't be. No, it's not. Night. It's not Dix menstrual night. Is enough. Karen is scheduled for execution. I'll make this a second call. Karen nominates Kale. Karen nominates Kale. Tell us about this, Karen. For all we know, the noble could be just fake uh, and Dominion. I am not a good kill. I would rather be killed at night. Kale, your defense. Why would we waste time killing a noble? Okay. Uh, Karen. Karen is scheduled to be executed with six. It'll be six to tie, seven to change that to Kale, starting now. I really I, want I to vote for this. I don't necessarily trust Kale, but I don't want it to tie. No, I kind of like this. Vote for a noble, I'll vote so I can tie. I kind of like this one over. It's strange that this gets so many votes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, all, all like, I don't like I don't really like that defense, uh, though. Like, why kill a noble? Because they might be yeah. Four well, is mean, not enough. Kale, you are <laughs> safe. Karen's still scheduled for execution. You don't like Kale's defense, and Karen didn't give a defense. So... Well, I did get yeah. a defense. Yeah, I'll be closing the day in 10 seconds with an active nomination if I don't get a further one. I like Gambling Karen's defense more. Emily. Gambling has nominated Emily. Gambling, tell us about this. I respect all of the rights of my citizens to self-determine and choose to claim whatever they wish. However, I have heard a terrifying rumor that Emily has claimed the role of another. Now, it's possible that in that double we have two butts and neither could, but it cannot be doubted that rather than flail around with all of these vague impositions of maybe Karen, maybe Kale, maybe the nobility, and maybe merely careless people, there are double claims which we can resolve. Perhaps we have mad brains. Perhaps we are but butts. Emily, your defense? Speaking of having mad brains, yesterday I was targeted by the Serenovus, and that is why I was claiming Magician. I am not the Magician, um, and now the double claim should be gone. Karen is on the block with six, six to tie, seven, it changes to Emily, starting now. I will say that there's evidence Ooh, of a Serenovus today as well, that's why I don't think it's a Minstrel Day. Yeah, I agree with that. Yep. Perhaps whoever is mad should speak out. Break madness. If it's minstrel, then not. Two is not enough. Emily is safe for the day. So can I find the minstrel five. would prevent anyone from being told that they were mad, even. And therefore, we would have proof. Five, four, three, two, one. Karen, the town gathers around finding out that you are clearly the one responsible behind this being's imminent arrival into our world. They take you up to the dais, and much like they did with Dak, they execute you, and you die. Good night, everybody. Well, were able to, they, they were able to kind of fall off of Kale's nomination. Oh yeah, I think Kale's getting exposed pretty soon. Oh yeah, but just not today. And probably me too, to be fair. Yeah, you got to make this Serenovus count. Yeah. Um... Who do we hit tomorrow? Or well tonight. What do we think that Molly Bach is? Don't know. They told us on day one uh, that they didn't have anything to contribute yet. 
Is it too obvious to go after Emily? Probably. I'm gonna leave Emily alone. I'm just saying, Minstrel is gonna be a problem for the leech. Especially, I have you know. Kale, but Emily is a minstrel. So, so it's on Kale. Okay. Um, what do we think that Karen was? Also, no clue. We haven't spoken to Karen at all. Well, let's look at some process of elimination here. It's probably not a courtier. Oh, yeah, a courtier's a bluff. Never mind. Sailor's possible. I don't remember if uh, Karen doubled or not. Maybe hit Kale to try and distract people from killing him tomorrow if he is obviously mad. Nah, I think they'll read into that. I think so, too. So we have a juggler, no juggler. Um, it's possible. I don't remember who juggled. Um, so I can't keep track. Ever, I think like everyone juggled. FM Jason could have been. It could have been Moldock. FM Jason being juggler explains why they didn't come out with their juggler info today because you right. madness them. Hmm. Malachan mad. Yeah. Yeah. To deflect from the idea that they could possibly be a leech host. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. The only problem is that if I get found out as a minion, they might read into that of like me feeling cornered and making a fellow evil mad. Maybe. Also want to give a shout out to, I just realized that I made a reference to the 2004 film Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Um, today's the 8th, guys. It's the Ocho. I was going to do the whole Ocho and Nocho game, but we're doing storyteller perspective, so I can't. You mean player perspective. So, we're doing player perspective, yes. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you think I know what I'm doing. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I wake up in the morning some days. Hello, hello. Hello. Whose brain are we going to play with this evening? Um, I would like to make Malachan mad as the butler, please. Malachan as the butler. You got it. Thank you. Tori, it's not the Thank ninth. You. Stop it. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know. This might backfire. Um, and we're 100% sure from Pasta that it's Godfather minus one. And that's what Kale has told us. Uh, it's Godfather minus one, the only outsider who plays and drunk. And only one is a drunk. Interesting. We didn't execute anybody yesterday. No, we executed Karen. Mm -hmm. Let's hope Pasta doesn't pick knowledge on Jesus. God. I, mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure Kale spoken, told Pasta so what. Yeah. Pretty I sure Kale hope. told Pasta who the leech host is. Yeah. yeah. Um, Who would Pasta probably be? Oh, who's probably going to die tonight? Well, there's one big problem we hope gets taken care of. You mean Emily? Mm hmm. I would like Narn to be the second. If there is a second. Emily and Narn are also two very strong players. It would also be great if Narn is not the drunk and just dies to his own gamble and then Pasta also kills and Kale kills and we get three deaths. That would be great. Ooh, that would be spicy if that happened. The foe, the foe charge. But, like, hmm. we really need uh, Emily dead. Yes, you do really need Emily Because, like, if, if Narninian ever dies gambling me or Pasta... Um, we needed to make it look like maybe Narninian was a self-killing godfather. Like, that world needs to exist in order to, Ooh, uh, grow at least that's some a spicy suspicion. One. Yeah, I like that But world. if Emily remains alive, then it'll become obvious who the minion of us two is, right? Yeah. Can these fucking fireworks stop? At least they're not from the neighbors across the street. So, I will say, 
I don't know what it is, but, you know, I live in a pretty economically depressed area. Or economically depressed town. My particular neighborhood is maybe a little bit more middle class than others, but I will say fireworks have been going since May, guys. Like We've had people on and off every couple nights since then. Good and morning, everyone. You awakened from a dream. It was an incredibly odd dream. In the dream, you and all the attendees of this party had been transformed into pigs. You were being chased by a dark cloaked stalker carrying a butcher's cleaver. As your eyes clear of the dream world, you see a body on the dais, the body of Narninian, with a little piggy tail poking out and a snout. A lilting voice surrounds you all. All the pigs are all lined up. I give you all that you want. Take the skin and peel it back. Now, doesn't that make you feel better? No, it doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Res is literally squeak, squealing. Yeah. Squeal, little piggy. Jason, you can reach out. I am easily amused by Nine Inch Nails references. Who did you ask for now? Uh, Jason, I'd love to chat with uh, you. Yeah, let's go. Malachon, can we chat yeah, again? Yeah, sure, there's Noah. Malabak? Sure. Malabak, don't get... I'll be right back. Hello. Alright. Um, did you want to narrow down since you didn't really give me anything other than to say you had no contribution yet? Uh, I'm an oracle with a zero. I'm unhappy we killed Karen. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Kale is just evil. Yeah. Um, right. So, I've got Emily as a minstrel, and initially people were thinking that Dak Kill was a minstrel knight, but now there's some people saying that it's not, and I'm not actually- Oh, are they saying it's not because of you? That that would make sense. Some people thought somebody else was Saranovas. I am now convinced it's not. Before, I was unsure. Okay. You had a- you had a- you had a zero every night? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have not heard of a single outsider. Me either. So sure, it's possible that we have either a Vigor Mortis or maybe a Godfather minus one, and whatever outsider we have in play is the drunk. It's also possible that they're just hiding because it's a Fengu script. Yep, I definitely wouldn't rule that out. Malishan so, is mad about okay. being the... Narn's the only knight death that we had. Ooh. Yep. Butler, butler. Uh, Narn is claiming gambler. Um, Mm, interesting. That would be a great bluff for a bigger minion. Yeah. Well, I got a zero, though. True. Uh, yeah, you would have to be the drunk in that world, specifically. I find the no-night death very odd, given that apparently we executed the innkeeper on day one. I've heard of a fool. Yeah, apparently it can only be full. That's the only, like, given, I think, kind of confirmed not Minstrel Knight, then the only thing that could have happened is full. Sorry, I am oh. listening. I'm also trying to kill a mosquito at the same time. That's fine. I'll, I'll uh, just be honest with you, Navian, that I'm not sure about your alignment. Uh, that's fine. I am not sure about yours either. I would like sure. to think that you're good. Um, I am suspicious of both Asta and Jason. Narninian is claiming that Jason is gambler confirmed, but that was apparently on a night that could have possibly been a minstrel night. Yeah, but according to me, it wasn't, right? Right, which is why I'm not sure about you. Um, I guess that's fair. Again, there's every world where you're the drunk. There's every world where I'm the drunk. Um, I see a, where a one could be is possibly if Dak is evil and you are the drunk, Dak and Pasta, I think, is a world makes sense. Uh, I mm. certainly think there's a world where I'm the drunk. Or even possibly a leech host. Who knows? 
Um, gambling, at the very least, now that we've had an- ah, uh, shit. Narnia needs the gambler. Mm, I don't want to keep harping on gambling as a self-poisoning leech, but it is funny. <laughs> Um, I don't know anything about FM Jason. Uh, Karen is also a blank. I thought I had a claim from Malishan, but now I've actually heard the two things that he told me claimed elsewhere. So now I'm not sure on Malishan. Not sure on Malishan either. Um, but personally, I would like to go for Pasta or Kale first. Yeah, I'm kind of convinced Kale's bad at this point. Yeah. Um, do you know who the noble things are? Yeah, it's me, Karen, and Jason. Apparently yeah. Jason's confirmed, and I'm confirming Karen, so I'm obviously very suspicious of Kale. Right. I guess there's a world where Kale, Kale could be the drunk, too. Uh, because that's what the drunk does. It hides itself. But it does, and it makes a monkey. I long. think it's more likely that Kale is just evil, but I also yep. think Pops is evil. Okay, thank you. Yep, thanks. Move me, move me. Molly, your insights in chat are missed, by the way. Oh. I'll help you next time, Danita. In, in regards to off-topic stuff. Oh, really? Yes. I could really use your takes right now. Interesting. I want to know more. I can't. I can't give away my secrets. That's fair. Um, That's very fair. Sean, do you want to go get caught up? Sure, I'll lead the way. Can I talk to you, please? Said to me. Yeah, I would like to talk to you. Yeah. I definitely lied to you day one. Um, okay. I, well, I didn't. Chef or choir boy, then? So I'm. I don't know which I've heard of a chef, but no number, so I don't know. Um, oh, that's the, right. I'm I gave you a two. Yep. Not letting the sin sink thing um, go. Yeah, I'm the chef. I have a one. That's really helpful. Um, I think with a chef one. Other than a really fringe world, I think gambling has to be evil. <laughs> if that's true. Uh, that could certainly be true. Um, um, I think yeah. if it is, then it's gambling pasta as the one. Yep. There's a there's an outside world where it's gambling FM Jason and Narn could just be like a Vicar Kill Minion bluffing as gambler is yeah. Yeah, it could be. confirming yep. Jason. Yeah, it could uh, be. But I it have could... heard of an Oracle who's apparently got a zero. Okay, and I, I built the the Oracle is paired with Narn. Um, so okay. there's a world where Narninian and the Oracle, if it's the same Oracle, are evil together and that's backing a Vicar Kill Minion world up, but Kale would yeah. be now, Nini and Kale's a valid pair, if it's a bigger game. Um, I would say... Welcome back! I'll give you a second to chat, and then I'll open up nominations for the day. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just say what I was gonna finish with Malishan, just publicly. Oh, uh, goose. I have only heard of one outsider at this point, uh, which but... means that there is a chance that we just have outsiders hiding because there's a Fangu on the script, but I think there's a stronger chance that we're either in a Godfather or potentially a bigger Mortis world. Yeah, I yeah. was just having so, that conversation with Karen. I uh, I believe that Navian is evil, so keep that in mind when building for this. Oh, do I you think too. Kale's evil? Yep, me too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Kale either. is evil. I think, uh, Narn, there's an oracle clearing you, so if you're evil, that oracle would have to be the drunk, but... Yeah, speaking of oracles, is there not a possibility that we can make certain of this idle noble's faceless claims, their wild and frothy butt, if we were to perhaps get them dead and seen by dead spears? Yeah, the nominations are open. I think there are lots of good reasons to kill an oracle. I don't Not an think oracle, a noble. kill the oracle. The uh, noble. noble, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Res Re Resnora nominates Kale. Resnora nominates Kale. Tell us about this, Resnora. It all comes okay. um, down, I think we have a lot of people who have down, trust issues with the noble information. Uh, I have one of them. Um, 
I, I believe the mechanical information points to the remaining people in the Noble Ping being good. Therefore, I think the Noble is either uh, drunk or evil, and in which case, I mean, either way, uh, they're no longer useful to town. We should just kill them. Kale, your defense? Um, I've heard worlds proposed where there are multiple players lying and I can't really say anything in my defense because I don't have any information to really point to somebody else. So, I mean, you can kill me, but I'm just a player left out of a loop. Okay, uh, five votes will be needed to execute Kale today, starting now. Big one. I mean, if you're saying that I'm evil because you died gambling me, I would like to point out that you were the only death last night. Five is enough. Kale is scheduled for execution. I don't think Narn's the gambler. That quiet. I just, only, the I just, I'm worried. Of, I'm worried about Kale being the leech, and there's a minstrel claim, and I'd rather go for a minion than a leech. I oh, uh, honestly. I, I was kind of getting the read by the, the number of hands willingly going up on Kale, pointing more towards Kale being a minion, to be honest, but... Leech would also make sense, though, people just went... Yeah, no, it would, yeah. I didn't, that, I, that didn't occur to me. FM Jason J will nominate Navian. FM Jason nominates Navian? Tell us about that. Uh, Narn, did you want to take it, or I can do it? Uh, sure, I, I might as well add it. I, I was actually the juggler. I'm not gonna, I, like, keep this up. Rolls trio swap going i am confirming a lot of players um and um unfortunately navian is not one of them and i believe that of the the remaining players kale is the one claiming something most willing to die which means they're probably the least hey, good to execute maybe in your defense it is i'm a chef with a one i don't see why that's any more or less willing to die than a noble so that that part of the accusation doesn't track for me, but sure, if you'd like to kill me instead, go for it. Uh, Kale's on the block with five, five to tie, six to change that to Navian starting now. I will not be voting on myself, though. Yeah, I don't want to risk this tying. I I think we should kill and, and both and of them. As much as risk of leech does suggest that good players should be willing to self-immolate, perhaps we should check for a leech before we start doing that. Who is not oh. enough? Navian is safe for the day. Kale's it's on the block at five. It's also do possible Kale could be a leech host. Do we know that Narninian In which case, can't... all the better. We win. Do we know that Narninian can't be drunk? Uh, we don't. Do we know that anyone can't be drunk? With an active nomination, I'll close the day in ten seconds with no further nomination. I haven't heard of any outsiders until today. I'm sorry, we there was a nomination know... there. Oops, sorry. Pasta nominates Mullibok, please. Pasta nominates Mullibok. Tell us about this pasta. So, Nanini was saying we should probably execute a minion today. Um, Mullibok is not one of the people I spoke to day one, and most of the people I spoke to day one did not fall for the magician trap. Um, and is also not a person who has been made mad yet, so I think they could be a minion. Mullibok, you're I'm sorry, Pasta, go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, I was just saying if you want to go for this. Okay, Mullabok, your defense. I believe that as a person in Kale's noble ping, I am a confirmed good player. Okay, Kale's on the block of five, five to tie, six to change it to Mullabok. But nonsense. One is not enough. Mullabok, you are safe for the day. Kale is still on the execution block. I'll be closing the day in five, four, three, two, one. Kale, the town has finally discovered your hideous secret that you have been summoning this monster to our town. They put you up on the dais and they summarily execute you as they did Dak. 
Karen before you. Kale is executed and does not die. Good night. Okay. Live the day. Oh. I Whale. Well, there you go. Right. Well, I'm considering doing a pivot to a courtier. Um, I'm going to pivot to a courtier who drunk the leech, which means that I'm going to believe that Kale was DA protected. Also, Emily really needs to be to death tonight. It, very much so, right? Uh, yeah, we are in absolute deep shit tomorrow if Emily is alive. Emily's still alive, yeah. Because if Emily is alive and we get a minstrel day, Kale is just straight up getting executed. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Fool is already hard claimed elsewhere, Alex, so... Kale, from uh, pretty much everybody's perspective, is only going to be either DA Protector or Leech. Do you, uh, do you hit Kale with the Sarah Badness to give you an escape valve? Um, possibly. That's not a terrible idea. I mean, I doubt Art and Bruce are gonna give it unless it's absolutely needed, but if they do, yeah, it'll signal to the town that it is absolutely needed. Uh, it will, yes. Which means it will signal to them that they are on the right track. Yeah. How but you? Thanks, Spot Spot. I don't know if Malachan is the gambler. Uh, I think it's... By process of elimination, probably, but... Yeah, um, based on the gambler thing going between Rez, Narn, and, and Malachan. Yes, uh, yeah. on like day two. I think Malachan is probably the gambler. Unfortunately, that means it is going to be easy for him, uh, for them to expose themselves as a potential leech host. Courtier would be a hell of a pivot. Hmm. Oh. The phrase but goo does not sit well with me. idea where the drunk is. It's I think not it's Malachan. Yeah, I think Malachan might be the drunk gambler. It might also be Emily. Hello, hello. Hello. Dodge and a swoosh today. Can still yep. make somebody mad. Who you got? Uh, yeah. We're gonna make Kale mad as... Um, let's make Kale Matt as the choir boy. Kale Matt as the choir boy. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, just so so you're aware, this is a potential uh, for you to maybe help us out if we need it, because they've absolutely got evil pinned here. Uh, in and your mind, what would I be doing to help you out? Well, I've got a hard claim of a minstrel, so if that minstrel's not dead in the morning, uh, we're pretty much just going to be fucked. Got you. Got you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rattler. Uh, right. Yeah. So there's every world where Emily could be the drunk. We don't know because we haven't executed uh, either minion yet. Right. Um. All right. So if Narnian is the juggler, then I don't know what Jason is. I'm actually not sure that Narn is the juggler, but... Possible. Not like the ST can move the drunken token retroactively. No, token integrity. That is correct. You uh, should absolutely not be retroactively moving the drunk token once the game has started. If you want to sort of wait during, like, night one to put it down, or to maybe move it around on night one before it has affected anything, yes, that is debatably okay. Um, but once the game has started, don't move the fucking drunk token, even if it has had no impact on the game. That is incredibly rude, and people do not like it. No. I do not recommend it. 
It is up there with things that... So there is such a thing as, like, token integrity things that you can maybe, like, kind of play fast and loose with. Um, but there are some things that you really shouldn't, and I think that figuring out who the drunk is is, is one of them. I mean, that's setup ability, guys. It's literally got the little orange leaf. It is a setup ability. You should have an idea as to who that person is going to be. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who plays this game sometimes. How's the mosquito fight going? I don't know. It's fucked off somewhere, but I think it's still alive. How dare it. If we wake up and it's not Emily, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be happy either. <sighs> uh, my three beverages, by the way. Gatorade for the electrolytes. Water for the literally everything else. Except for caffeine, which is handled by one of these monster things. Which I don't like, but I need caffeine, and I forgot to get caffeine earlier. It tastes like... It tastes like someone took, like, like a watermelon warhead and carbonated it. I, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't necessarily sound pleasant. It's repulsive. Don't Ugh. drink it, then. Well, it has everything I need. What you need is water. I have water! Did you know that Monster cans water? It also doesn't taste great. Why would... That okay. Gross. That does sound pretty gross to me. I have resorted to Monster, yes. I would normally have just a little five-hour energy that I take, but... Uh, I forgot to get something earlier, so this is what I got. Sorry, I took one of my wife's monsters. It's got what plants crave. Sun? As sunlight? Shouts the sunlight, by the way. I know Navian would never make that shout out, but shouts the sunlight. I like that it makes it warm. I don't like how bright it is. And that you can't step out inside of it for fear of turning to, you know, smoke. Um, yeah. Good morning, town. You awaken to an ever less crowded room. A cold sweat sticking your shirt to your back. What matches? You see up on the dais the body of Resnora, who died in the night. A dark form begins to appear on the stage near the throne of honor. A voice almost whispering the way we were. The chance to save my soul and my concern is now in vain. Believe the word, I will unlock my door. You have five minutes. Uh, Karen and Dak, can we chat? Hey, is. is there any chance that your noble liege yep. might get in there as well? No? Damn it. No trust for the royalty. Oh well. I'm I'll keep talk a rough butt. Absolutely. Naughty goose. Hail to thee. Hello. So, unfortunately I do not think that we can indistinguish but between a drunk and an excellent host. Uh, yes, that is why having drunk on scripts with leech is nefarious. It's also it, good, it, but nefarious. Indeed, malicious even. And so we have to wonder. Um, uh, I so hesitate. There's every chance, of course, that because there's, that's not the worst of it. On top of drunk and leech, we also have leech and DA, and we can't distinguish there either. KO right. is probably evil to my mind, but. Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Um, I'm not sure we can necessarily leap to... directly to sucker. Yeah, um, I have a full time elsewhere. I've certainly not heard of a sailor so or well not from kale anyway so kale is either just da'd or the leech 
Mm. We can double tap him, or I'm certainly certain that there will be people who will be pushing on me as evil, which, again, if I am the drunk, that's functionally not tellable from a leech host. I understand um, that. One... Two, Sorry, three, out to four, you. Five, six, seven. There's eight players alive. We can technically double tap tail to clear up the world of whether it is a leech or not. Uh, we have we can. people alive that we could, but I'm sure if I say that, people will just point to me as being evil. I, I can say it for you if you want. I will say, however, I have heard of a living gambler claim, which means that unfortunately there's always a chance of a double night death, which would close right. up our eight. So. So that has to be either Malachan or Jason. It is some of those, yes. Yeah. Potentially. I mean, okay, well, Malachan gave me Butler yesterday, but I don't oh, think yeah. that's true. Has he also been affected by Buttspot? Um, <laughs> because after all, a gambler made Butler would become a Butler. We do <laughs> Butler. Yes, indeed. You take away the gamb. A jamb, if you will. Uh, but, I, but. But, but, indeed. We've got... I've got a reasonably full gram. I... You could be evil, but... That impl that thing is... That implies just the most horrific set of bluffs. Um, so I'm willing to consider the possibility that you're just good based on metas. I... I've been trying to trace also the Serenova's madnesses. Um, and I'll admit I'm missing some. Do you happen to know who was mad? Well, yesterday um, wouldn't necessarily be known, but the Emily day before? Emily is claiming madness on night one. Yes. I think the hard implication, I don't actually know for sure, but I think the hard implication is that Jason was mad on night two. I think there's a possibility that Malachan was mad last night. Or not last night, okay. the night before. Um, Obviously, I wouldn't know about last night. Okay. Um, well, So, that... night three. There we go. I know how to count. We did have a no-night kill. Uh, no-kill night, which does make counting did, yeah. hard also. But, so... Cool. Based on your read of this game, do yeah. you think there's anybody... Because the worst part is, is we have, I've got multiple claims, many claims, in fact, for whom... Distinguishing between host and not host is mechanically impossible. They either did something or didn't. Right. So, I have to wonder, if Kale is Leech, is it your read as a mighty chef and goose par excellence that they might be one of those dirty, horrible people who might host one of their own minions? Um, I've feel like he probably wouldn't, but I can't be certain. In which case, I may argue for my own execution sooner rather than later. Not yeah, right now, but right. yeah, I, I don't want to get to that until point. you get information, that oh, would yes. be more helpful for trying to decide whether you are a potential leech host or not. I agree, but I, I find it un it's unlikely SD will make it that easy, but yes. Yeah, the problem is that I'm having trouble tracking down a chef one, right? Like, if Kale is evil, the chef one is either yourself with one of Pasta or Jason. Jason is allegedly gambler confirmed, although mm. I do think that it's a bit weird what's going between Jason, Narn, and Malachan, but uh, whatever. Yeah, Narn, Narn um, is giving me some whipplies. Like, he led us basically to Kale, which I'm fine with, yeah. but... If it's not pasta as evil, uh, then I think a one could be coming from Mullabach, Emily, Malachan. Like, my one is pointing me in some very specific directions, and I don't know if I believe it is the thing. Sure. In which case, it may be best for the sake of certainty and clarity to cook you. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, a lot of people think I'm evil anyway, so... I, I don't buy that, but I think that it's mm, still unfortunately useful. Ah, it's what it yeah. is. I mean, and a good luck I to the... I've already done my ability, so I'm fine. Well, well I back missed you. down, everybody. Uh, we're getting close to game two time, so I'm going to speed things up a bit. Nominations are open, but feel free to chat a bit while they're open. Uh, Gambling nominates Navian. Gambling nominates Navian. Tell us about this. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again, that thou art a naughty goose and off with thy head. Navy in your defense. Uh, multiple heads will grow back. Four votes will be needed to put Navy in on the block starting now. I think this is a good nom. Can we get good players to vote for it? Sorry, I wasn't in my seat. So. Maybe and if you kill two heads, do three grow back? Yes. See if Kale drops. Wait. I'm not going to drop. Four votes is enough. Navian is scheduled for execution. Nominations Malish remain open. Malishan nominates Kale. Malishan has nominated Kale. Tell us about this, Malishan. Um, Kale is evil in almost all worlds. Uh, there's a world where Kale is the DA who saves themselves, and in which case getting rid of the DA is good for town. There's a world where Kale is the demon who was executed while protected by the DA, and in that case, we win. Uh, worst case scenario is that Kale is the leech, and then we just know for sure that Kale is the leech, so we know what we're looking for. And it's We're eight right now, so it's a good time to... You know, we don't really lose an execution by not killing today. Kale, your defense? I'm the choir boy and have been the choir boy this entire time. Navy is on the block with four, four to tie, and five to change that to Kale, starting now. That's a hard double claim. No, it's not. A... Yeah, I've heard of a double claim of that. It's not a hard claim. It's not a double hard claim. I don't think this is the best execution. Well, we are now committed. Yep. I think we learn the most information from this execution. It, it may not be necessarily the best in terms of finding the demon, but we do learn a lot of information from it. That is six. Kale is now scheduled for me to be executed. Uh, I'll give it a second call. With eight players alive, we have the time to actually check this to see whether it's a DA or a leech. This town seems pretty resolved. I'll close the day in 10 with no further nominations. <sighs> Looks like you guys are still five, a person that has four, so much potential. Three, two, one. Hail! The town has once again rolled this back and said, you are truly the one responsible for this. They take you back up to the stage again and they execute you a second time. Kale is executed and does not die. Uh... It could have been worse. But Jesus, why isn't we still alive? <sighs> yep. I am and shocked that we managed to get out of that one. We're dying tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, and we can't tell who the drunk is. Um, so we're not probably going to get a godfather kill. No, the drunk could be dead for all we know. Uh, like, it could have been somebody we executed and there was just a double up, or it could just be um, that Narn. Narn could have been the drunk. I don't know what his job or information is. He's certainly not going to share it with us. Nope. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to sit in town square um, and let people ask to talk to me because I don't think anybody's going to. Well, I would love to talk to you, Navia. And we're in a cat filled cabin. This is truly That's good. a most blessed cabin. Indeed. Uh, there is a cat here with me. There's a cat here with me, too. Yay! I'll try to catch Sunny on on uh, on the microphone when I can. Right for your bingo cards. Yes. Anyway, if Emily's not dead, we're fucked. Yeah. Look at all these cats hanging out with these cool people. Hello, hello. Hello. I need to know who is getting the madness tonight. Uh, 
let's make Mullabach mad as the drunk. Mullabach as the drunk. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't really have a whole lot of options, to be fair. <sighs> the options you do have are not the best. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling the exclusion in this game. This is what happens in this game when people hard suspect you as evil and it doesn't feel great. No, it doesn't. I'm telling um, you right now, I can sit in town square and probably nobody will ask for me. Hmm. I'll give gambling the benefit of the doubt. I think that gambling may start to be suspecting Narninian. I think gambling is just being nice. There's also that. Yes, I am evil. That doesn't mean that people need to exclude me from the game, but I can feel that they are. That, that is an important distinction. So I think that is something that it seems it, it's not in, it's not intuitive at first it doesn't exactly present itself very well at first but it is true that when you are a player who everyone suspects is evil the facts of whether or not you are evil or not are irrelevant it's about how the game is you is used to make you feel mm -hmm. that that that's important yeah and it is I, worse when and you it, aren't evil and everyone excludes you i have also been in that scenario i, I have been in that scenario too um, there are, I like to think that we have made some strides in trying to, you know, curb that. But at the same time, people are people. People are going to do stuff like that. And I don't like it. I'd rather change it if I could. I think this is a good lesson to you all to be able to kind of realize that you know, if a player is executed on the first night, or if a player is refusing to share info with town, or if the player is suspected of being evil, that doesn't make them not a person. That is correct. Treat them with, treat them with humanity and respect. That's what this game is about. So, I try to make it a point personally to talk to everybody, just because there are no, there's no such thing as a worthless conversation. That even if correct. you even if you believe that person is uh, right exactly that is true yeah good morning town you awaken again this time you see a dark form coalesce on the stage seemingly becoming solid it stretches as if being formed again for the first time at the bottom of the dark form lies a fresh corpse the corpse of Emily, who died in the night. The voice stretches from it as a truly horrific smile takes root on the dark face. Close your eyes and forget your name. Step outside yourself and let your thoughts drain. Well, I didn't want to go after I least. Four minutes. Emily, let's go chat. Okay. No, Sean, do oh. you want to talk? Narn seems to be um, indication that he was indeed the yeah, Do you want to get Kevin and Gambling and me yeah, all together? Or? Yeah, I'm okay sure. with that. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. Cool. A court! We shall form a court. So, anybody want to chat? Nope. No, you little shit. <laughs> I'll chat with you, Gail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I've ever been on the same team as you. I don't think I either. Let's go, know. Gail. I'll chat. Yeah. Maybe, and we haven't talked yet. Do you actually want to go talk? Sure. Olabok, can we chat? Sure. Hello. Hello. So, I know you were claiming Chef. It was a Chef 1, right? Yep. Okay. Um, seeing as we're in a Leech game, I'm trying to figure out if you are the Leech host, where the rest of the evil team would be. Uh, yeah, that's entirely possible. Uh, I think Pasta's evil. I don't know where the third is. I... Or it's just me, and I have given out true information, right? Right. Which is 
possible for sure um it, it's it, it, it's possible some might even say it's likely but i hate kind of being like this is the world and then if it's not the world you just sort of walk into evil's world so right um i think the next well no because i was gonna say gambling would be likely in that world but not if you're the leechos so yeah um, i mean so we know that kale is evil we know that kale has yeah. to be the leech he's not my lightning sailor and i don't expect him to pivot from noble to sailor he's just going to be out at evil which means that uh my one would have to be pasta and gambling making a really bold play uh or my information is wrong i have not heard of any outsiders except for malachan and i don't think i believe that i believe that was probably Snaranova's madness which means that um we have likely have a godfather minus one meaning that there is both a drunk and a leech host out there and mechanically they will not be able to be pulled apart yeah which does make it tough yeah. um all right yeah so from my perspective because i am technically a possible third evil uh with your incorrect one yeah um but from my perspective i know it's not me so it has to be mullabach or malishan right um, yeah so from my perspective if i am not the drunk or the host there there is a very fringe world where it's gambling but it feels more likely that my number is wrong and therefore it's uh, kale, pasta, and then one of yourself, Molabach, Malachan. Right. Um, and if, so it's, it's like, it's just, this is the fun thing about Leech, right? Is it's like solving the evil team is mm -hmm. like half the battle, right? Because you it's then have to solve right, the right, yeah. part, so. And then you have to decide whether this Leech is the person who would host their evil team members or not. Right. Host the evil team members, host the king, perhaps, if the king is real. Um, we know that Saranovis hasn't been hosted, at least. Yes, that I, I am 100% sure of that, because I was um, in Sarah then. Since it's likely to be a Godfather minus one, that would be pretty hidden. Yeah, that'd be very hidden. Like, it's uh, possible that the drunk just dies in the night. Yeah, especially if it's drunk, like, because we won't yeah. have anyone claiming that they were an, outs uh, an outsider, so. Um, what's your role? Uh, sure, I'll tell you. I am the sailor. Okay. Yeah, which is why I was, like, when... Kale didn't die. That's why I didn't throw out the possibility of it being a sailor, because I knew they weren't gotcha. sailors. Gotcha, because you know that there's not. Got yeah. it. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is tough, because we have three executions. Um, this is always tough, too, because I'm like, do you go after Pasta, who's evil, and just, like, guarantee yourself the final day? Or do you go... I guess right. either way, you only have two executions, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, um I mean, we know for sure that, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure you probably know Emily was claiming minstrel. I have heard that as a yeah, like, which means possible. that regardless of who could be a minion here, whether it's Pasta, you. Welcome mm -hmm. back! Welcome back to town. Nominations are open. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. Hi everyone. I have the Oracle token. I got a one on Emily. I think I might be the drunk, and it's just been hidden. But oh. I don't <laughs> well, think that Emily's that yeah, so I, I'll, I'll, I am either the drunk or the leech host, and I think Mullybok is the drunk or the leech host. Um, <laughs> Gambling nomination. Name, you know. Gambling, what was that nomination? I'm sorry? Uh, Gambling nominates Malishan. Gambling nominates Malishan. Tell us about this. Malishan has been blessed with the most holy of all roles, and in that role finds themselves rolling snake eyes. Malishan, your defense? Yes, I'm the gambler who gambled myself as the marionette last night, and I'm still alive, so kill me. Okay, four votes will be needed to put Malishan on the block, starting now. Alternate info, if this is true, then there's only one outsider, which means that there's a godfather, which means that if we kill the drunk, we will have two dying at night, which means we wake up with both. Well, we can't actually mechanically distinguish the difference between... Like we chose, yeah, yeah. So I think we just have to like take some take some shots. We Six do have to take votes. those risks. Malishan is scheduled for execution. Nominations remain open. Kale nominates Mullabach. Kale nominates Mullabach. Tell us about the scale. Panic. Mullabach, your defense. I really hope this isn't 5D chess and I'm both the drunk and the leech host, but if people want to go for me instead, whatever. Okay, Malishan is scheduled to be executed with six. It would take six to tie, seven to change this to Molibok, starting Okay, this, this actually is clearly evil panic, though. 
Oh yeah, I'm yeah. voting on both of them. Look yeah, my I dark mean... court, rise up! Definitely don't want to run the risk of this dying, for sure. Four is not enough. You are safe, Mullabuck. Malishan's still on the block with six. I'll make this the second call. We have, I think, three good but targets. We can distinguish between them, I suspect, and have spare executions to make this work. You're right that a godfather makes things very awkward, but there's a non-zero chance the godfather's already dead. I have think that... who nominated Malishan instantly. I think Malbach has to be the host if Malishan isn't, because um, the, I juggled them correctly. Um, I think perhaps a father to my kingdom. With an active nomination, I'll close the day in 10 seconds with no further nominations. And the god tool butts. Five, four, three, two, one. Malishan, the town has now recognized that you are perhaps responsible for the evil in this town. They drag you up to the raised dais in front of the chair of the celebrant. They execute you and you die. And Kale dies. Yay. 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 And as Kale dies, a dark form begins to disappear from the stage being sucked into an invisible void, a haunting chorus of voices from beyond. As many hands reach out to clutch at the spirit, they shout in unison. Then it all crashes down and you break your crown. You point your finger, there's no one around. The castles crumbled and you're left with just a name. And the game is over. Congratulations, good team. I Woo. should have done. Woo. Yeah, pings. Yeah, How, I, would you like to do your roll call? Yeah, I mean, Bruce and I made some choices that we thought would help out the evil team, but uh, ultimately it didn't end up working out. Uh, start at the top, Mullabuck is the oracle. Uh, Mullabuck got zeros the whole game because uh, no evil players had perished. Emily thought they were the minstrel, but was actually the drunk. Um, couldn't risk a minstrel going off in the leech game. So uh, Emily was also the only outsider, a choice I made hoping to give Kale a lot of good targets to be leech hosted. Uh, I didn't want him to run the risk of leech hosting an outsider. So by taking the outsiders off the board, I hope to give a better choice. However, Kale chose Balashan the Gambler as the leech host, which uh, was, you know, a razor's edge from being going wrong terribly early, but managed to get it to like uh, six days, I think there. So that's not bad. Narnini and the juggler did some work, uh, confirmed three players, which I think set about some worlds. And then as Kale killed uh, the non-confirmed players, it really started to lay lay down who the evil team was. Of course, Kale was your leech. Uh, no killed that one night was soaked by Reznora the fool. Um, Navian was your Sarah Novus, made a lot of people mad. Um, had a good plan with Kale. I don't think I would have done it, Navian, because I think you di you dying there or an evil dying there was better. We needed to speed along deaths because we were worried about Malishan gambling themselves or something yeah, and finding out there were those. The yeah. At that point, at that point, I had a sober, healthy minstrel on the board. And yeah, exactly. It I made... was expecting oh. to get executed, and we would be fucked. It made sense, and but as Bruce and I thought about it, I, as I thought about it during the day, I'm like, yeah, you don't know that Emily's the drunk, but I think you're, you're, I'm gonna let you die if it happened. And unfortunately, it didn't. It went to to Kale the Leech. Karen was the choir boy uh, who got killed early, and therefore didn't get to really do much except for help solve the game. Uh, Resonora was the fool uh, who absorbed a kill and then got a second kill in the night. Uh, Jason was your sailor who was made mad early as the fool. Lots of good conversations from Madness where people claimed each other's role. Uh, I thought that was very good. Uh, I think Jason was safe most days. I think I only made someone else drunk one night uh, just to 
do something different. Otherwise, Jason picked pretty much uh, good characters the entire game. Gambling was your king. Uh, obviously, we didn't get to low enough for gambling to gather any information. Pasta was your godfather who took an outsider out of the game. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get to kill because Kale killed the only outsider in the night. And Dak was the innkeeper killed early. Uh, bluffs were Chef, Courtier, and Noble. And a bunch of outsiders that we kind of hoped maybe the evil team would get to pick up on, uh, but sadly did not. Yeah, it didn't speak to Pasta until like day two. Uh, that was your game of Birthday Feast. Thanks, Art. Yeah. Thanks, Art. Thank you, Art. That was great. wonderful. Thank a lot of fun. you guys for allowing me. And I hope everyone enjoyed their butts. Thank you. Always enjoy your butts. Always enjoy my butt. Thank you.